Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick here, aka Chartart. I'm doing another Pokemon video for you guys. Um, today, I think I'm going to cover Greninja Break. Um, I pulled a couple of Greninjas, and uh, so I feel like it might be the right time for me to build this deck. Um, I kind of built it the standard way, so I'm running two Tapu Lilies, um, four Frokies. Uh, four other Frogadiers, four Greninja, and three Greninja Break, um, two Star Use, two Star Me, um, Tapu Fini, which I'm kind of hesitant about, but like the Tapu Storm is really nice against certain certain decks I play against. Um, not to mention Aqua Ring, I can kind of work with. Um, Hydro Shot is a little more iffy. I don't feel like I'm gonna use that all too much. Um, Running two Evo Soda, two Field Blower, one uh, Professor's Letter, uh, two Rescue Stretcher, uh, four Ultra Ball, two Guzmas, one Lily, uh, four N, one Kukri, four Sycamore, two Skyla, one Wally, uh, three Choice Pan, three Splash Energies, and six normal water energies. So, as you guys probably know, Greninja works off of Greninja Break, whose ability is the Giant Water Shuriken. So once during your turn, before you attack, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may discard a water energy card from your hand. If you do, put six damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. It's kind of nice for like sniping off things um, in today's meta with so many like, basic... Um, evolution based Pokemon um, it's kinda nice to be able to snipe those things off um, because we're gonna be throwing quite a few of our water energies into the discard pile we're gonna run Starmie who has the ability Space Beacon so once during your turn before you attack you may discard a card from your hand if you do put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand so that's kinda nice to recycle our energies um, now the 4443 four, four, line of the Froakies to Greninja Break um, kind of has a purpose to it. So, like Froki, um, we choose the Froki because um, you can paralyze your opponent, which is kind of nice. Um, Frogadier because of the water duplicates, which is kind of nice as well. Basically, water duplicates will allow you to put as many Frogadier on your bench as so what's in your. Um, What's in your deck? Um, this Greninja, so we run this one and not the other one. Um, that has the Water Sharken ability because of Shadow Stitching. So stato Shadow Stitching basically is like a temporary. Um, goodness, what's the name? Uh, Garbodor. So basically, it blocks your opponent from being able to use abilities, uh, which is kind of cool. Very worst case scenario, if I need to build up some quick damage, I can use Moonlight Slash. And then, of course, the Greninja Break is going to come in handy as well with its giant water shuriken. Um, like I said, with Tapu Fini, it's kind of a up in the air thing right now. It's kind of just something I'm testing out. Um, the Aqua Ring will be kind of nice because I can switch it with one of my bench Pokemon. But it only does 20. Um, the big reason I'm playing it is because of its ability, or because of uh, its GX attack. So it'll allow me to shuffle two of my opponent's active... Uh, shuffle your opponent's active Pokemon and all cards attached to it back in their deck. Um, so if they have something that's really threatening up front, say like a Gardevoir GX or something like that, I just send it right back. Um, Evo Soda is kind of standard, like I want to get that Frogadier out as quickly as possible so that way I can use Water Duplicates. Um, field Blower is kind of standard. Um, professor's Letter, because we're really not running that many energies, we want to try and get as many energies in our hand as possible so that way we can use Greninja Break and uh, Starmie's abilities. Um, Rescue Stretcher, Ultra Ball, Guzma, all kind of standard. Which I need to actually bump up my Guzmas. Um, I am running one Lily. I might actually drop that down real quick. Um, the reason. I run the lilies is because Lily is pretty good at um, like first first turn if you need a bunch of cards in your hand you can give them to you um, but we're actually going to drop that down so we're going to go four ends 
Um, Kukui I still really like. So Kukui, Kukui is, well, I draw two cards and let you do 20 more damage. Which, in a lot of cases, is pretty big deal. Um, a lot of the times you need just that extra 20 damage and you generally don't have a way of getting it. So Kukui will allow that. Um, Sycamore, Skyla, kind of standard. Um, we do play one Wally. Um, Wally's good because it will basically allow me to evolve from Froggy to Froggy first turn, um, or Stardew to Starmie in rare cases. Um, not really a necessity. Three choice band is pretty standard just because I need to get hits on bigger hits on those GXs and EXs that come out. Um, splash energies just because. Uh, if they're knocked out, I, I want to be able to get those Greninjas, and the Greninja breaks back, so that way I can start pushing them through. So, anyways, um, we'll save this, and uh, we'll go ahead and test it out. So, I'm going to play. I want to get that Professor Sycamore this month. So, let's see what we got against. So, me and Ariel my wife have been talking and we're thinking about possibly incorporating her into some videos. Um, basically what we'll do is my stuff will be the soft spoken TCG and then hers is going to be more ASMR TCG. Um, it's going to hopefully work out pretty well. Uh, she's about 80% into it um, as far as like wanting to do it so hopefully uh, that will become a, a new thing so all my videos will be uh, soft spoken and all of her videos will be the ASMR um, I figure it would probably be good for the channel too because we can both have different opinions on the decks um, like I know how I built my Gengar deck is different than how she'll build her Gengar deck so I think that'll be kind of nice. Um, what should we do? <laughs> um, getting back into this, so I guess we're going to field blow the stadium because I don't want to deal with it. Um, go to N because we need the energy is really bad. Splash energy wasn't really my hope, but I'll take it. So I'll put these down this down and hope for hits. Perfect. Kind of feel like I should be running Brooklet Hill. Because Brooklet Hill is going to allow me to get more water Pokemon out. But at the same time, all my targets would be like who I have down on the bench right now. So, wouldn't really help out too much. Alkazam Spirit Link. Oh, that's interesting. Probably should just toss that personally, but that's just me. Kind of interested to see what my opponent's playing because this definitely seems like an interesting deck. Uh, fortunately, I have to bite that. I'm going to play the end. Get some stuff, hopefully. Don't really want to throw the water energy away, but it wouldn't hurt to toss a few things and get out the starting. Now, I really don't want to continue to take damage from Potown, but I really can't sit here and not build up. Put two more Fogad Ears down on the bench. And hope that my opponent doesn't waste me this turn, which you probably will. It's kind of interesting to see Alakazam out. Espeon's kind of going to be wasted, but not really. I do kind of like it when my opponent plays like Tapu Koko sleeves and deck box and 
everything like that. Um, and then the uh, depth, that definitely does not reflect that. I think we're going to go through the right here. And we're going to up that Evo Soda, this. Takes damage. No, but I guess I'm not going to take any damage. Cool. Um, we are going to space begin with the Froki with a one water energy. Um, I hate to throw this stuff away, but we need more cards. But can do this. Get past freaking Po Town here. And yeah, Shadow Stitch or Moonlight Slash. Hmm. I'll go with the Moonlight Slash. So this kind of situation is kind of tough. Um, because I don't really know my opponent's deck well enough to consider it playable to me. I can take some damage there and pass some damage back. Uh which is going to kill off my start. Uh, oh jeez. He's just spreading damage and then he's going to devolve everything, which I guess technically makes a lot of sense. This first round may be wasted. But maybe we can do some stuff. Maybe. Wonder if he'll kill off that. Nope. Okay. Pass some damage on. Really need to get rid of that stadium. He's using a lot of work with it. Evolve. Devolve. One down. Two down. Well, that stinks. That miraculous shine is going to be his best friend in this case. So we're going to wait a minute, why did I feel blown? not pay any freaking attention. Get rid of those two things. That was definitely a misplay on my part. Um, no, I don't feel so bad putting down the Froki. I'll toss these two. And there's no more Star Keys. Of course. Alright. Well, I'm going to throw the Froki that won't really come in handy next turn. Let's slash. Yes. Hopefully he doesn't use the miraculous shine, but it might come into play. Put two damage counters on your opponents. I have to put one, two damage counters on your opponents. Bench Pokemon. Great, and then he's going to back to the shine and kill the other Greninja. Okay. That's cool. I actually really like my opponent's deck. As annoying as it is. Espeon. I don't want to have to worry about it as much anymore. 
unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Well, that's okay. Got some shiny water energies. Probably should have pushed him back, but whatever. Uh, we can do... We can, we can knock this out. Cool. And this is where Kukri comes into play. Not to say that I couldn't have gotten to that point anyway, but... Oh well. Uh, no. We'll leave that out. We'll knock that out. Ninjas. I guess those are always nice to have. Don't really need them, but... Whatever. Let's see, what do I need? I really need a Greninja break, so that way I can start putting damage counters out. Hey, looky there. Hopefully he forfeits. He's not pulling what he wants. Gotta be cautious with how, much, how many cards he's got left in his deck, too. Let's see, he's running kind of low. And this is where Shadow Stitch is gonna come in handy. I think we're going to play Lele. Uh, got us the. Ultra ball that we need. Hmm, that center force is gonna be the death of me. Hmm, we may be able to do something here. Not positive, but we might be able. Let's see. Evolve him. We could get the Greninja break. Oh, we can get one of the stars back. Which we're gonna desperately need to. Put water energy down here. Rescue stretcher out, maybe. Let's see. Mm. Lots of few things back in that I need. Hmm. Do I toss them into my deck or do I take them out for myself? Ugh. I didn't need the water energies. Maybe next rescue stretch will go on. Tapu Storm. All of you go back into the deck. I don't even want to play that game with that button. Hopefully he doesn't have another one already ready to go. We'll see. Maybe we'll ask me on with the miraculous shot. Well played. Oh, so I have to well play back. I just really like my opponent's deck. Just putting down the Lele to put down the Lele. That guy's energy. The shine, game over. I wonder. He's got his visible. I may save this for a later date. 
Anyways, well, oh well. So we lost that one, but we're on to the next one. Now, Greninja Break doesn't exactly have uh, much of a point in standard anymore, necessarily. It's got a lot of weaknesses that he has to go up against. And I always find it as annoying to play against whenever I play my Sylveon deck. Um, get, get up there. <laughs> but, uh, I guess he's not too, too bad. Not exactly my future cup of tea, but... I really like my Sylveon decks, as you guys probably know, since I've already done two videos on Sylveon. And we're going to play against Glissapod, which destroys Greninja every time. Oh, um, maybe we can get out the Wally. We could totally get out the Wally. Get Trogadiers out. He's going for basics, but we're going for stage ones. We got this. Maybe. <laughs> Tabu Koku. That flying flip ability. I'm going to toss Evo Soda and one of our Greninjas. So that way we can get. Lele, who will give us Wally. Perfect. Make sure that all my ducks are in a row here. There go for this dude. Mr. Green Hair Dude himself. I actually like Wally. He's a really cool card. A really cool person in the games, too. He's probably one of my favorite NPCs in. The Pokemon games. Um, Carnivore has always been one of my favorite Pokemon, and it's kind of cool that they, they gave him worlds to start out with. Let's see, I'm just gonna have a bunch of good ninjas, I guess. It's only one with an energy, but it's not even gonna have an energy because he's dead. I'm gonna probably have to let Tapu Lele soak up some hits. So that way I can get some other stuff out. Uh, rescue stretcher. I'm going to put Greninja back into my hand. And we're going to throw away this Greninja break. Because we need some cards. Such as energies, which is what we just got. Cool. Hmm. I don't want to put down the Froakie. I have no purpose for Froakie, so let's not play some. And do I want to goose with my opponent's deck? It's a real question. Yes. I think I want to get some of these Glissopods out of the way. And my opponent's gonna go some immediate set. Tap a little like a spot. That's an annoying combo ever. Should have put down that funky. Oh well. Uh, we can toss a energy down here. We can put down energy here. And then, hope for Greninja Break, which we got. And... Hate to put him up front, but kind of have to. How many energies do we have in this card? Just the one. Giant Water Shogun. Now... Oh. Do I take some prize cards, or do I start working on damage? 60, 80, 
it's 140, so I'm not going to be able to come off this turn, but I can come off next turn with my Lincoln Ninja. Alright, um, we're going to Space Beacon, toss this guy, get the two water energies, and hope and pray that my opponent doesn't toss him back. Move that slash. And Hope that my opponent doesn't go to DC. Oh, no. Hope that my opponent doesn't put down a grass energy, which she is. I don't know why I'd hope that he doesn't put down a grass energy, it's impossible for him not to. Okay. Looks like we probably lost this one too, realistically. Uh, not too concerned about the water energies because I can get them back. Um, I need to break here. Space beacon. Toss. I don't really feel like I'm going to use this fuel blower. Please. Rescue stretcher. We have frog deer. Alright, what is your good? And I'm going to go for prize cards since I'm going to lose this game. going to happen here, but just for funsies, let's see what happens. Do you want to build a close pod deck that's going to run just like my opponent's currently is? It seems like a good deck. I put that down. So ultra ball. My opponent unfortunately has all of this in the bag, so like I said I'm not a huge fan of the Greninja break deck. Um, like I said, I see the pluses in it, and I can tell why it works, but just kind of gets ran over by a lot of decks. I used to roll it a pick up. And I think this is going to be a lot like the last game. Where I'm just going to give my opponent the well played. Well played. So ain't nothing I can do. On the plus note, all the people that we've been against. It's been really nice. Shuffle that back into his deck and hope for the best. And here's the best. <laughs> Tossing away a lot of cards, bud. 
I guess you are hoping for the energy. Should play the Guzma. But I don't even know what I'd play out of it. Yeah, maybe play that. And I'll break the Froki. I'll toss down the Froki. Toss that down. Toss the energy down. And hope for Paralyzed. And hope that he doesn't get a switch and an energy. And a second one. Play Fable. Should I probably turn my opponent off? Why the heck are you even fighting back? Um, don't really need this. Hoping to pull. So toss this. And that. Just gonna take a look and see what's actually in the deck. We got Jack left. Okay. Now it's well played. Uh, unless he does Okay. Yep. Yeah, well played. <coughs> Defeat. Oh, I, I'm sure you guys probably noticed the amount of coins that I built up. Uh, 1,510. Generally, I like to spend my coins pretty immediately. As soon as I get 200 coins, I'm buying packs. But I'm hoping for um, when the new set comes out. So not Burning Shadow, Crisis, uh, Crimson, Crimson Storm. Um, hopefully, when that comes out, I'll have enough coins to buy some decent stuff um, if they'll even release it to the store it might be something kind of like generations where you have to just buy it um, generally hoping it's not the case but it might be didn't really want to play the sick more here but kind of get some stuff out like Finny I want Finny not really Launch ball, toss these things, even though I know what I'm playing against. They get the Froki out. Well, oh, maybe I didn't build my Greninja break deck right, or maybe Greninja sucks nowadays. <laughs> I, mean, I don't really generally see him in standard, but he is still a card that you see every once in a while. I spend an ultra ball. Eevee? Uh, yeah. I kind of assumed I was playing against Trashlands, Espeon. Uh, another annoying deck. Another one. Please don't find your target. Man. I'll work with that. Oof. This is not a good hand. Huh. No. Tough. 
Capillary is confused as all heck. Really don't need a choice band. I'm gonna take a risk. No, it never works out for me to take a risk, but we're gonna take it. Hey, this time it worked. Alright. The little froggy is so happy sitting by the pond, dipping his feet. Oh, I'm sure you, you guys have probably been questioning the Filmora Studios thing. Um, that's pretty much an overlay on all my videos. Um, I'm not exactly the richest person, so right now I'm using some free software that I seem I find that works pretty well. Um, but basically, um, if I make enough from YouTube, um, then I do plan on buying the software. If it makes sense. I owe one for we do the rest of parts. It's part of why this deck sucks so freaking much. I guess the deck doesn't necessarily suck, it's just you never get what you need. Yeah. At least I don't. Some people get really lucky and they can play the deck really easily. I unfortunately can't. This is gonna be another GG. I can't even do anything. Let's see, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one. I knew one thirty with Lele, which isn't bad, but still against freaking Espion and everything. Divide, really. Seven up front and three where we start you. It won't be enough to knock out, but I'm gonna have to still hit, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I double that. And I want to be very sixty. Twenty one fifty to knock on my lane. Ugh. This deck is a freaking nightmare. I just don't want to deal with twenty forty. And of course, I forgot about Garbador. And what are you gonna hit me for, Garbador? Let's find out. 40, 80, 120, 150. Woohoo! And I'm gonna toss another one in there. 20, so that way you're at 170. Ugh. Having to return my opponent's freaking Pokemon to the deck. Well, we'll see if it works out in our favor right now. It's not going to. It's going to bring that Espeon use Mark the Shrine. And. destroy my Star Unit.
What is what is this po these Potown decks tonight? Things are so annoying. Almost makes me want to play my Volcanion deck just so that way I don't have to worry about evolutions and things like that. Promo. And you said, Use that miracle shot. You don't really necessarily need that to be gone. Any more things like these to be done. Uh, yeah, I forgot. I don't have any frog tears. So, I'm pretty much just wasting my turn looking to. Oh, the alternate art. I actually think that that looks really, really cool. I actually like it a lot more than this promo. This promo doesn't, or not this promo. Um, this card looks really, really cool. Especially with the gleam in the eyes and everything like that. I like this one looks so much cooler to me. With the rocks and everything. is evolving. Um, we're going to put this up here. As much as I really don't want to. This building lockdown crap is annoying. So we pull into an energy. Yes. Yeah. Definitely going for that. Yeah. And preferably Because already GG. I'm just gonna hope for sure. Oh, man, this 
this deck is not good. I make a suggestion that anyone who wants to run Greninja Break, if you do run Greninja Break, make sure you have better luck than I do. I see this deck runs so consistently for everyone. And then I try it, and it definitely is not consistent for me. Uh, oh, I don't have any cards left in my deck. Cool, well, we'll take the prize card at least. Well played. See, I uh, definitely was not paying attention to my deck. And of course there's the end. Okay. And he's gonna need Marks to shine in order to get past. Well played. Okay. Moral of the story. An ninja break is a no 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 deck. That is not a good win rate on Greninja Break. Um, anyways guys, I think that that's going to be it for this video. Um, mm, I think uh, I either need to play a little bit more uh, see what I can do with it or uh, maybe just scrap it. Because Ninja Break definitely is not working for me. Uh, it's a good idea, just poorly executed to standard. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna let that uh, that be the end of the video. Um, you guys enjoy the rest of your day and or night. I guess it's either or, day or night. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys next time. And don't make sure make sure to like, dislike, uh, comment, subscribe, everything like that, because uh, it really helps the channel, especially with me being such a or us having such a new channel. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a good one. Bye.